Hi. Hello, guys. Good night. Hello. Good night. Good night, Blanquita. Hi, Joshi. How are you? No, good night. Good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Oh, we got William Alexander joined the class today. Hi, William. How are you, guys? Hi, good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Oh my God, almost Friday, right? The body knows. <laughs> yeah, almost summertime, right? I think so, right? Uh, this year will be the first or the second week of April. I guess I the second one. Second one, right? The 11, right? Yeah, you're okay. one. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I, I always confer because I had the whole face. Ah yes, because you do you uh, you don't have vacation, but you get paid off, right? Uh huh. Yes. Yes, I know how it is. <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, yeah, uh, well. yeah. now not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Economically talking, uh, but what about uh, do you have the state's vacation? Uh, yes, in this case, I have my vacation normally. Ah, the vacation normal vacation, that 15 is for days. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, but uh, I receive vacation maybe one month, two days in a month, something like that. But ah, not, com not completely, 15 days. Why? <laughs> I don't know, but always it's the same way with all the employees. Since I, since, since really? I didn't have to be there. Is the same. For example, I can receive a week of vacation together, but not a 15 days together. And I had the discretionary days too. Really? Oh, that's interesting. That depends on the call center, actually, right? I guess it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I hear that other call center they provide you your vacation the 15 days. When you complete your 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 year, you have the 15 days. Mm -hmm. That's true. Or before that year, you must take your vacation no matter what. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. And we deserve vacation. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm really waiting for that. I have been having a vacation since like four or five years without vacation for me. So I need it desperately. That's stuff. That's why I love the background for William because every time that I watch that, it looks like it's summertime for me. <laughs> you know what I hate about the holidays is that if you had the vacation on the same day of the holidays, eh, the the beaches and all the tourist places they're full, right? They're full, the, and as well the um, the prices of the food and everything increases. So like, yeah, so like no, I prefer to have vacation when there is not a, a national holiday or federal holiday. Mm -hmm. That's much better for me. What about you, Doris? Hi, Doris. Good night. Good night, girl. Good. I feel good. <laughs> good, good. That's amazing. I, and Mr. Willa is having a, so much fun as well because I think he's drinking a cup of tea. He's like a British guy, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen him? <laughs> what about you? How was your day, Doris? Uh, my day is so quiet. Really? Why? I, I uh, when I saw in the end of the month, uh, the month is uh -huh. pretty quiet. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, oh, you, you, uh, it's because it's, you work on account purposes, right? For accounting, yes. right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And I, I, I made a task return the of oh. the client and. Yes. Very tough. Oof. No way. Yeah. Uh, my, you know what? My grandpa is an accountant. Oh. But from the whole school. The whole school. The CPC ones are like, oh my God. You know what? He's 35 years old and he, and he still goes to the office. He still, can you imagine? Of I course. Met, mm -hmm. I met a, a many accounts about this. Uh huh. They, they they are a uh, old man or old woman in, mm -hmm. in they are working really yes 
<laughs> yeah, my grandpa is like that way. Even though, of course, he already got an, another people who help him, right? But he takes yeah. the main decision. Yeah, he takes it. All righty. So it's nice that you have been a really good time. Where I come there in this case, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to see everybody faces. I only see Doris and William. And I think William, you, you also present another uh, pal, right? Who also <laughs> wants to be in the class, yeah? Mm -hmm. He's yes. taking He's taking classes mm -hmm. in a different schedule. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> so he's going to help you. <laughs> yeah. He, he, is, is he your brother? No, it's my nephew. Your nephew? How old is your nephew? 20, 21. 21. Oh my God, he's a baby boy. What about yeah. you? I'm 31. If we can ask, of course. Yeah, sure. 31? Oh, my good Doris. You know what? The first time that you saw William, did you think that he was 31? And you know what? Actually, for me, you do not look like that. Yeah, she, she look, uh, looks younger, right? Younger. Uh -huh. <laughs> Of 25 or exactly. uh-huh. <laughs> For me, he was still in the 20s, yeah. For me, you, if you were between 25, or I said at least 27. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, you see, but no 30, right, Doris? Yes. Lucky you, man. Lucky you. I think mm -hmm. it because he's a skinny, right? Mm -hmm. That helps a lot. And yes. he goes, and I think he goes to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, right, you do exercise, right? Mm -hmm. That helps a lot, yeah. But if we like put the zoom into the camera, we can see the wrinkles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already have wrinkles? Yeah. Really? No. It's normal. Oh, it's because you, ha you have a white skin, right? Uh-huh, maybe. You know, you know what, good news for you. I'm, I'm 40 and I don't know how wrinkles. <sighs> Tell me the secret. Of course. Um, jogger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put a lot of things on my face. Actually, I do not have makeup on my face, only my lips and the normal thing, but I do not have makeup. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I, I, I really take care of my skin a lot. There's, <clears throat> a, there's a ritual for me in the morning, and there's a ritual for me in the afternoon, or at night. Well, one of the clues or the clues is of the... Um, I, tips, if I can say that, is that I'll never go back to sleep without cleaning my face. Never. Okay. Never. Never. Yeah, that is a, a, a must routine, if I can say that. Can you imagine? Cool. Yeah, I do. And uh, well, I try to use like some kind of cleaning scuff things that they do not, they do actually do not have any animal ingredients or basically they have not been tested into animals as well because there are some oh. cosmetics. So basically have tried that. And I have one that, that my, basically my, my sister is, uh, he's like, well, my sister tries to study a lot of things at the same time. So she's multi multitasking. Oh, <laughs> right yeah. now she's in like a cosmetic and makeup academy right now, right? And she recently come, uh, came due to my my mother passed away. So basically she said, okay, I brought you these things that, and she let me know step one or step two or step three, right? So, and she brought me one of, I don't know, I don't know the, the name of it. I'm, I'm going to search it and I will send you a, an image about that. Uh, and basically she, she said, this is the first, you got to clean it. Okay. Then you like take it off with the uh, warm water. Then you got to put uh, hydra acid hydraulic hydraulic acid yeah okay and then and then you like oh, over here as well right and then after that you just put some moisturizing cream right yeah and then you go back to sleep and in the morning or during the day or right now because i'm in front of the camera of course the, the the lights that the camera projects also affects your skin so i do have imagine i do have um a, a sunblock that we can set that you can mm -hmm. use it in front of the computer and yeah. at the same time has a vitamin Z 
will you help also helps you uh, to uh, to wider your skin and at the same time if you have a little spots it also helps you a lot with the spots so can you imagine the whole routine right and that is in the morning and in the afternoon yes expensive <laughs> i don't know because my sister gave it to me recently she loves you yeah she does she said i'm gonna watch well, actually she brought it for her but she said oh. okay I, okay you know she said because i she's uh she works in amazon so she said okay i'm going to i can get it from there because she lives in costa rica and i'm gonna leave you this kit and you and then she sent me like a message via whatsapp to give it to me the steps to follow yeah because here i use it i, I bought a lot of things yeah I, you know what my mother teach, taught me that. Mm. My mother, my grandma, my auntie, my grandma used to use like a turtle cream, turtle cream for, for her face. And she, she passed away when she was 75, but her skin was really soft. And um, if she couldn't find a turtle's cream, she always uses um, cream S of Pons. Pons, can I say the pons, right? Yeah. Uh, and she that there was like a, a ritual for her. Every night and every uh, morning, she had she spent time to taking care of her skin. And I remember because I just to live with my grandma, with my mom's grandma, of course, with my mom's mad, uh, mother, um, for a few days or for a few years sometimes. Uh, she used to put like in a little wakal, in a little spot, right? uh some i can say some rose petals and then uh, uh she put it outside and when it rains it has the the the, the water rain mm -hmm. with with uh with the rose petals so that water she uses to clean her face of course the rain of last last 20 years is totally different from nowadays right because nowadays is it has a lot of acid a lot of contamination. If I put one of them, I don't have a piece as a piece of cheek next day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, because of the acid and the chemicals and all the stuff. But in the past years, the the the, the rain was, we can say it a little bit like pure, more pure, right? Than nowadays. So she used to do that every morning. Every morning she washed her face with the water with rose petals. So that was really nice, yeah. So I coming from a um, from a family who all the girls take some takes their time to take care about themselves. You know what? I keep following my grandma's advice in the case, for example, sure. of everything. And you know what? I'm with with her help. I'm forty years old and I do not have any veins on my legs. Because uh, whatever kind of rose. What? Whatever kind of rose. Well, yeah, whatever kind of rose. However, right now, Francisco, the, the rain that we receive nowadays has a lot of contaminations. And yeah. and, and ha there is, it is true. not as pure as it used um, to be, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, but yes, you can put a lot of uh, different water. And different yes. water, put in a wakal and leave the, the rose yes. petals for a day from another. And then in the morning, you just wash your face. Yes, because, because I imagine if I cut the rose to the, the garden to the, my wife, <laughs> she will kill you, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Francisco, but you're a man, you can't wash your face with the rose. Of course you you're, can. We're gonna get your face soft like a woman. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. You know what? Even that that also helps no, if you have like um like an oil skin, or uh -huh. if you have like um acne problems, that helps a lot as well. Oh. Yeah, it does. Yes, I have some. How do you say barritos? Acne. Acne. Really? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. It's because you need to take care about yourself, not only on the, the way that you treat your skin, but at the same time, what you eat. What you eat, drink a lot of water. Water is really important. And do exercises. 
Yes, I know it's really hard, but <laughs> sometimes you can eat pupusas because I love pupusas very hard. I remember my sister used to make um lemon with sugar. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> that works a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you need to be very careful because there are some people that has like a mixed type of skin, and also mm -hmm. there are some really delicate skin. Some yeah. of them are you're allergic. So you gotta just try just in one part to double check if it does not have any second effects. And if it does not, go for it. Yeah, you see, I don't have any spots. I don't have any wrinkles. <laughs> and I'm 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had to accept it. What else I can do? <laughs> yeah, and I feel it. I feel it. You know what? Woman changes a lot. 20 to 30, it, there's a change. From 30 to 40, there's a change. And from 40 to 50 and so on, there's a change. Is, yes or no, Doris? Tell yes. Me. Yes, men, we change. Men happens too. Excuse me? How many happens too? Oh, yes, but I think we have more changes than you. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Especially when we became a, uh, a mom as well. There's a lot of changes. Yeah, and that, that's true. That mm -hmm. happens. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But I need to lose weight. <laughs> I, I love to eat. That's the problem. And you know what? But um, yeah, I think next, um, yes. Um, next month, I'm going to start going to the gym again because I really need it. I miss doing exercise. I love to do exercises. What is your favorite sport? I, I remember the one day we spoke about football. that, right? Football, somebody, some of you said it's football. I remember Freddie said basketball, right? Yeah, I remember. And I remember Telmita, I think Telmita in Kenya said um, swimming, I think. No, Telmita, yes. is, yeah, and yes. also yoga, so right? Practice yoga, also swimming. Yeah. Yes, my sister practices yoga in the morning, and I know I love to swim. And I already asked my doctor because due to the COVID, right, we need to be very careful. But she said yes now, because the, the things are like coming back to a normal thing. You can go and practice swimming. I was like, yeah, because I really miss swimming. That's amazing. There you go. Okay, so hey, which are your goals for this year? Anybody has a different goal besides learning English and improve your English, which you are doing right now? Congratulations. I'm so happy. Uh -huh. Fernando, oh, William, what, which, which are one of your goals for this year? Be healthy. That's nice. That's one of them. Yeah, you see, Freddie's like, yes, I can see that. You're drinking tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully, I, one day I can meet you guys and I can share my my box of tea that I do have. Oh, I have a green. Yeah, yeah. I do have a rose tea and a natural rose tea. The little roses. Mm -hmm. I do have it. I do have rose tea, jas jasmine tea, sure. lavender tea, and what else? Chamomile tea. Ah, and you know, and bamboo tea. Yeah, Freddy, bamboo tea. It's really delicious. But you know what? I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I already drank all of them. <laughs> but it's really nice. Yeah, maybe one day we can meet each other, guys. That would be amazing. Hopefully, I can see you uh, in the academy. Hopefully. One day. There you go. Okay, guys, do you remember what we have seen yesterday? Yes, first condition. Uh, what, what about me? What first that? conditional. First conditional, right. And, and we learned and we do a lot of practice, right? Yes. Yeah, and I, and I understood that it, for everybody is clear how to use a first conditioner. Is that correct? Do you have any doubts or any questions right now regarding that topic? No? I have a, a little doubt. Uh -huh, a little doubt. A little doubt. Okay, tell me. Uh, in the book, uh, uh, the book, in the book, uh, 
uh, right is a comma after it. Uh, mm, no, the problem, the comma, Doris, is because uh, if you use the first conditional or the if part mm -hmm. at the beginning of the sentence, and mm -hmm. then after the if part, you're going to explain the consequence of the situation, you need to separate it by comma. Yes. Uh, For example, if I, if I don't study hard, comma, I won't pass the course, right? Yeah, I understand. But in the, in the book, uh, when, uh, do you have a specific page? Uh -huh. 20. 20. Okay, let me go back there. Let me go back to the page 20. Uh-huh. In the say that when the sentences begin with uh, the if segment, uh -huh. it, it it is necessary to write a comma after it. After after it or after I. Okay, let me let me share right now my screen. I, I found it. I found what you're looking, what you're telling me right now. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Are you there? Yeah. After it. Oh. Or after if after it, but it's, it's, this is not pay, uh, more uh, in this the beginning in the beginning of the of the page. Ah, at the beginning of the page. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah, keep, uh, comma after if this. Where is it? In the. When the sentences begins with the mm -hmm. is close, it is necessary, necessary to write a comma after it. Ah, okay. But Doris, uh, take a look at the sentence. It, it's not talking about the, pr the pronoun it. Mm. it. It is substitute the if segment. Let's read it in Spanish. Cuando mm. la oración empieza con el segmento if es necesario poner una coma después de eso after ah, it ah, el ah, it se refiere al if segment ah ok mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hoy sí mm -hmm. sí acuérdate que el, el it sustitute if segment sí, uh, sí. Uh -huh. no no está diciendo el pronombre it mm, ya yeah. mm -hmm. ok very good Any other, any other uh, downs that you have? No? Okay. Is it clear, easy peasy queasy, like a tree of water, right? Like water. Or like corchata. You could say tamarindo as well. Ocarao. With milk or without milk. That's really good. Ooh, I love it. Do you like it out? No? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, I love it. Okay, guys. No. Now, no? No, I don't like it. Why you don't like it out? Come on. No, it's really delicious. Oof, I love it. My grandma used to like have a carao juice every every time that I've arrived home. I love it. Now, guys, I want to ask you something, and I want your opinion about that. Um, who can tell me that never get angry about something? Have you ever had anger in one time or one point? Anger is like. Enojado. Vez enojado? Yeah, right. You go see. Yeah. No because I don't believe you. Right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ahora bien. Now let me ask you a question. Are you able to handle anger correctly? ¿Puedes manejar la cólera correctamente? ¿Has podido hacerlo? Be honest. Maybe. Sometimes, right? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes or not. Uh -huh. Sometimes, yes, sometimes not. Depends of many many situations, right? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. For example, in the traffic. Yes, ah, Francisco, in the traffic. Yes. <laughs> you are not patient, right? <laughs> yes, because nowadays is dangerous maybe because all person maybe can to be uh, take a video 
Mm -hmm. uh, maybe mm -hmm. I came to have a problem with the uh, exactly um, like to the the men to the other drivers to mm -hmm. Sarita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if you noticed, but everybody is under too much pressure, right? Yes. So when they drive, everybody is like like the microbus driver. They're like, they're crazy, they're running, they're stressed. It's really difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you say persona explosiva? Explosive. Oh. Mm -hmm. Explosive car. car. Car or person? No, no, no. Character explosivo, por ejemplo. Oh, yeah. Es es explosive character or explosive personality. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Oh my God, it's really nice. It's, yeah, but it's not good at the same time, right? So let me ask you something. Now, I just want to ask you a quick question. What do you do when you have tried everything, everything to solve a conflict, but nothing seems to work? Uh huh. Have you, that had happened to you or not? That there's a conflict. You have tried everything, everything to solve it. Todas las cartas que tienes sobre la mesa. You have tried all of them, but nothing seems to work to, to solve the problem. So what do you do? Uh -huh. Oh, you sometimes, said, uh, never mind. Sometimes uh -huh. time to solve things. Sometimes time resolve a problem. Yeah, sometimes depends of with who you have the problem and what was the problem about, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe ask uh, an advice to someone uh, else because um, someone else hey, can have another idea or another solution for the problem, and, and you need to have uh, open your mind and mm -hmm. try to, to listen. Exactly. Maybe that person had passed the same situation, right? Uh huh. You're right. And who do you pick or who you um, approach to ask for an advice? Your mother, your best friend, your father, your Something brother. That, someone that has uh, maybe experience about that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you something. I'm going to, I want to share right now with them some information because um, this is really important. I'm going to share with you uh, some strategies that is normally used to implement when we solve a, a conflict. I'm just going to share right now with you that information. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in a bigger right now. OK, there you go. Let me share right now my screen with you. OK, I'm sharing right now one, two, three, four strategies. Take a look at the left image that I do have. And tell me, which of them you have used or you will usually use, or it will be useful for you if you face to that situation that we are talking about. Who can help me read it? Uh, mm, Yoshi, can you please be so kind to help me read the first one? When it says never. Okay. Yes, teacher. Liberation define acceptable behavior through a published collection of best practice that encourage collaboration. Very good. What about number two? Can you please be so kind to read it for me, Fernando? Just uh, identify, uh, identify areas of conflict and uh, intervening. I don't know what, what is the stress society level. Uh -huh. Intervening? Oh, intervening, that mm -hmm. is the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and intervening in a decisive manner. Very good, thank you. Blanquita, what about the third one? Blanquita. When it says understand. 
The third one. Yes. Understand subordinates motivations. Prevent conflict by making decisions in the best interest, interest of subordinates. Very good. And last but not least, Andres, the last one, please. Um, using conflict as an opportunity for growth. If address properly different points of view are to, to stimulate innovation and learning in the workplace. Very good. Okay, thank you so much for helping me read it. You're practicing right now the reading skill. So which of these four guys you will use to solve a problem, to solve a conflict? Number one, two, three, or four. Or do you think that all of them are useful? What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. All of them. All of them? Yes. Why you say all of them? Because all are... I'm asking. So you said never assume, identify areas, understand subordinates motivations, and using COVID as an opportunity for growth. Mm -hmm. Are you, a, guys, are you agree with Francisco that all of them are really important to use or you prefer to pick some of them or both of them or three of them? I don't know. Yoshi, what do you think? Can you repeat your question, please? I'm sorry. Ah, I, yeah, I, I just want to know. Issue. Don't worry. I just want to know if when you're solving a conflict, are you, you are going to use the three, the, the four ideas here on the paragraph? Three of them, two of them, or none of them? Um, mm -hmm. None of them. None of them. Why? Um, I, I will use the first one. The first one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, define acceptable behavior. You will never know how the behavior of that person is good or bad. In the uh -huh. how he or he is acting at the moment. Uh huh. Exactly. Very good. You see. Oh my God! I think she's a supervisor. <laughs> very good. Very good. I am not. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want that. No, no teacher. No. Too much work. You are a supervisor, right? No, I'm not. Mm. I, I don't want to. <laughs> Me neither. No, I don't want to. I'm, I'm like, I'm good like the way I am <laughs> right now. Yeah. As you said, it's a lot of pressure. No. Yeah. yeah, it's nice, but uh, because where I, where I work is, they're really nice. The environment is amazing. And I do have an amazing supervisors. I love them most. They're younger than me, but we're, we're a really good team. Yeah, we work really fine. I love them. But no. <laughs> It's too much, no. You know what, I'm already old. I'm 40 and I don't want to complicate my life. No way. <laughs> yes. I'm good That's like the, the way attitude. I am. Yeah, oh yeah, yes. Oof, yes. I know what I do. And one of the things that I do, that I love the most is to be with you guys. I love to teach. I love it. Because that's an opportunity to share. What you, what you know and what the spirit that you have with somebody else and make and help them grow as a personal way in a professional way. You know what? I always think of that, that a good teacher is a one that opens the mind. No, yeah, give you a hand, opens the mind, but most important, touches your heart. That's a good teacher. Will you really care? not only as students, but you really care as a human beings. And it's really, really important. That's what I'm here for. Yes, you're right. That's what I'm here for, to help you guys grow as a person and grow as a professional and to reach your goal. That's why sometimes I'm really cuckoo. <laughs> but I wanna give you all the tools that you need for you to grow in your company. Thank you. You're welcome. That's what I'm here. That's what I'm here. Sometimes maybe you're like, teacher. Yes, I know. I know. But not many people have the same opportunity that I have done that all that my 
parents have given it to me, like basically grow speaking and um, listening the second language. I, I consider myself lucky because of that. And I speak three languages right now. Hopefully it will be two more because that's one of my goals. But I want to share the knowledge, the little knowledge that I have with you guys. Because we are a team, we are a family. We're not just teacher and, and students. No, we are a family, we are friends. That's what I always consider. And you know what? You are my English babies. Yes, Fernando, you're an English baby. <laughs> I'm just deep. No, yeah, you are, you are, with the permission of your wife, of course. <laughs> All right, very good. So remember, a teacher, a good teacher is the one that opens your mind, gives you a hand, but touches your heart. That, is, that has to be the vision of a teacher. And that's what I'm here for. All right, so I think sometimes I put you a little bit and sometimes you want to kill me, maybe. Maybe, right, Fernando? William, yes, you said yes. You see, look Fernando's face, like, hmm. Or Freddy's, Freddy, he has like, oh. yeah, look at him, come on, right? No, no, I was just uh, laughing about it. <laughs> I was laughing about it, come on, uh-huh. <laughs> it just reminds me of um, a teacher that we had before in, I think it was in Mario 4, yeah, four? Mario 4. Yeah. 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 The teacher's name was Mr. Henry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know him. I love him. <laughs> actually, one, a lot of uh, my co workers wanted to kill the teacher. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he's but a he's, tough teacher. But he's really an amazing teacher. Yeah. I love him by heart. <laughs> he has a lot of knowledge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> but I love him. I love Henry. Is my bestie. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. So, guys, I want to share with you an extra information, and I want you guys to help me. Just click. I have a one, two, three, four situation. Continue with if, right? Continue with if. But um, this is related now to the work environment, and I just want you to help me decide whether this announcement or situation is healthy or unhealthy that's it healthy or a healthy way to proceed or to behave all right so let me double check right now there we go okay can you see my screen yeah better yes all righty yeah. jesse do me a favor could you please be so kind to read it from me the instruction that they are here okay teacher <clears throat> Category, categories, categorize, the categorize, thank you, categorize the following responses to, to anger, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which are healthy, which are unhealthy, check the boxes, check the boxes, Box. discuss your choice with, sorry, with your, with a partner. Very good. All right. So this is what I want you to do. I just want you to help me with this. And uh, let me check the first announcement. William, could you please be so kind to read for me the no, sentence number first, number one, please. Okay, if a coworker speaks. Ill about me. Oh, uh, speak, it speaks, okay, sorry. Ill about me, I will be ready to talk things out, to forgive and forget. Uh-huh, what do you think? This is a healthy or unhealthy way to manage anger. Healthy. Healthy? Okay, I will put healthy. Uh -huh. What about number two? Telmita, what about number two? If my manager is too demanding, I will get angry and irritable to others. Uh-huh. Is um, unhealthy. Unhealthy. It's unhealthy, right? Unhealthy. Well, yes, because yeah. that is the between your you and your man mirror. The other one doesn't have to deal with it, right? Yeah, but you know what? That happens. Mm -hmm. That happens. That situation. Erwin, what about number three? Can you please help me read it? Yeah, number three. 
-hmm. if one of my subordinates, subordinates yes, mm -hmm. this another, I will convince him to compromise without imposing a punishment. A punishment. What do you think? Healthy. Is it healthy? Healthy, healthy. yes. For me, yes. Okay. I think it's healthy. All righty. What do you think is healthy? Uh huh. Because you don't punish uh, the your coworker. Uh, uh huh. You you don't create a a I don't know a a worse uh, situation situation because mm -hmm. the co-worker doesn't uh, doesn't want to to ah. how can uh -huh. i say that yeah to basically we can say to to ill about you hey, but... or get revenge with the or, other or with the other person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly okay. or act I, I against think... you you can say also as well yeah that's uh -huh. right that's right here yeah. All right, very good. Okay, and last but not least, thank you, Blanky. And last but not least, let me check. Madeline, can you please let me know number four, please, if you don't mind? Okay. Uh, whenever uh, there is a conflict in the office, the boss will pretend nothing is happening. Healthy or unhealthy? That's unhealthy. That's unhealthy, right? Why it would be, what would we consider unhealthy? If there's a conflict in the office, why would the boss will pretend that nothing happens? Uh huh. The conflict, the conflict is gonna make everything worse. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if there's a conflict, what is expecting to do? Right away. Try to solve. Exactly. Try to solve it. A SAP, right? What is a SAP? You know what a SAP is? Yes. What does it mean, Andres? As soon as possible. Exactly. As soon as possible. As, as up. You know what? That is like an abbreviation that most call centers uses. Because <laughs> I have 14 years in experience in a call center. I have a lot of vocabulary of call center. I will put it as soon as possible. Okay. I send it to you through the chat right now. As up. As soon as possible. <laughs> that is an abbreviation. Or you can say uh, F U. You know what F U is? Before you. Follow up. Uh. For you. <laughs> I think he's in love. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, but no, with no, no, with me, with somebody else, of course. <laughs> yes, you say for you. <laughs> and Fernando, like teach you cannot imagine my. I'm like, like this. Yeah, you cannot imagine. You just starting walking, and I already turned around and came back. Yes. All righty. Very good. Uh, another abbreviation. That we use, do you remember? FYI. FYI, yes. What does it mean? For your, your information. For your information. Uh huh. WY. No, no. YW. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> exactly. Very good. <laughs> you see, and we can continue saying a lot of things. So I already gave you some tips. Huh. Tomorrow we'll I will give you more, okay? All righty. So now, guys, now that we already have talked about uh, the unhealthy and unhealthy way to responses when somebody get anger, I just want, I'm going to basically, guys, give you uh, one, two, three, four four possible situations. And I, what I want you to do is to write suggestions on how 
to resolve the conflicts effectively using first conditionals. That's what we're going to do, okay? I will give you four possible situation and scenarios that also basically talks about the situation itself. And I want you guys to think about ways to resolve that situation, okay? You, you don't have to uh, use all of them. I will give you four, but you can pick one, okay? One of the four, one of the four options. And I want you guys that when you pick one of them, uh, please try to write suggestions on how to solve the conflicts effectively. We're still using first conditional, all right? That is basically speaking, but at the same time, writing practice, okay? Uh, let me double check. How many we are right now? 15, right? With me, 16. So how many groups do I create? Three. Three. Yeah. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Yes, right? Yeah. Ah, you want me to put in uh, uh, in a group of five? Yeah. Mm, nah. Too much. Yeah, too many people. No. Too many people because I want everybody. Oh no, everybody to participate. But I think three. You can create three, uh -huh. uh, five groups or three of uh -huh. three. Exactly, five groups of three. That's what I like the most. Okay, but before I do that, I need to send you the information that you're going to use, right? Because basically, uh, 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 you will need to have that in order for you to work. Because if not, you you don't you're not going to know what you're gonna do or what will be the base for you to work with. So let me double check what I have here. And hopefully my IT department does not say anything about the delay of the message, right? Because I think I already spoke with my Wi-Fi provider. And, and I'm waiting for. Yeah, and you're waiting for what? I already sent that. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> she move you, right? <laughs> okay, do you got it, guys? Yeah. All right. Before yeah. you work together, let me share right now the screen. This is what I have sent to you. Let me put a little bit bigger because I want everybody to help me read it. And now it's not me. It's supposed to be me. Yeah, me. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's the one. This is the four possible scenarios. You see? One, two, three, four. Who can, Freddie, can you please be so kind to help me read the first one? This one? Yeah. Okay, read it for me, please. What's on the circle, right? Yes, please. Okay. My work, the dialogue box. My, all right. My coworker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on, pro, on procedures correctly. But I'm scared to sound, uh, how do you say the word? Arrogant? Arro uh, arrogant. Arrogant. If I let him know. Exactly. Very good. So that is a situation. Okay. You have a coworker whose name is Tim and always interrupting about when you're explaining your procedures, right? About something. And that makes you feel anger, right? But you don't know how to say to him that, that stop doing like that, that, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the first situation. If you pick that, please use first conditional to try to explain how you're going to resolve the situation. Okay, a scenario number two. Kenya, can you please be so kind to read it for me? The man with, with the laptop. I don't know what to do. My boss, my boss is demanding too much of time in my road away. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows up to monitor my work. All righty, very good. So he's asking too much, right? Multitasking. You, and that makes you feel anger, anxious, and also under too much pressure. So why are you, what will be the suggestion that you will give if you pick the situation using first conditional? That is the second scenario. That's scenario number three. And Joshi, can you please be so going to read it for us? Sure. I'm a new manager. Okay. okay. I am a new manager at a true manufacturing company. One of my employees get aggressive whenever I found that he should follow safely procedures. Uh-huh. So you're the manager, shoe factory, 
but one of the employees get aggressive whenever I point the shoe follows safety procedures. Okay, that's the person that they, it doesn't uh, like to other people tell what to do, right? Doesn't want to follow instructions or procedures, how you're gonna solve this problem, what well, suggestions that you can give using first conditional. And last but not least, William, the last one, please. Don't fall asleep, man. <laughs> you see? I work, I work oh. at the sales department. I made some mistakes in the report and the department needs it, a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. Uh-huh. Sales department agent, you make mistakes in the report. Uh-huh. And you cause that that department missed good opportunity for investment. So that's the reason why everybody said, mm, because of your fault, eh. everybody's angry, right? With you. Or a scenario. So you have the four scenarios, guys. So which one you are going to pick? It's up to you. If you pick one of them, please write suggestions on how to solve the conflicts effectively using first conditional. Maybe you can give us uh, three, up to three or five suggestions. No more than that. Okay? No more than that. Between three to five. Oh, no, only one. I need, a, I need more than one. Okay, just before you go, let's practice some pronunciation that I can listen that is still, we need to improve a little bit. Repeat after me. Um, 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 um. You know that is I am, of course it is, and it, but it's a contraction way. So when you say contraction, you gotta pronounce it in a contraction way. Um, 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 um. I wanna hear everybody, um. Um, mm -hmm. um, arrogant. Um, arrogant. Arrogant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interrupting. 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 Carry on. Carry on. Procedures. 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 Demanding. Demanding. Anxious. 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 Show up. Show up. Sales department. Mistakes. Mistakes. Missed. 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 No miss. Missed. Because, because I'm missed. No missed. 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 Okay. Okay. Investment. 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 Angry. 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 Hey, look very careful with the pronunciation, but you, you can say angry when you are hungry, right? When you are starving, when you need some food. But this angry is a kind of personality behavior, right? When you are mad about something. So be careful with the pronunciation. Aggressive. 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 Whenever. 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 Procedures. Procedures. Very good. So now, guys, now on, if you see a word that is contracted, please pronounce it in the contraction way. I don't want you to pronounce it like I am, you know, if it's contracted, pronounce it in a contraction way. It's really, I know it's hard because the, the intonation of the sound that comes up when you pronounce abbreviated, we do not have any sound similar in Spanish. We do not. Basically, there is, it is just um, part of that, of this foreign language that you're learning. But I want you guys to get used to pronounce in the abbreviation way when, when you see a word that is abbreviated, okay? I'm gonna kill you if you put I am in this apostrophe, M. M. All right, very good, guys. So we already gave the instructions, so it will be, Five groups of, no, five group of three, right? There you go. Okay. Let me put it right now. And I'm going to like switch right now who you work with. Okay. Let me double check. Alex, you're going to work with Blanky. You're going to work with Doris. There you go. And Erwin, you're going to work with Freddy's. And you're going to work with Kenya. Very good. Andresito, you're going to work with Madeline. 
And you're going to work with Telmita. And we check Fernando, you're going to work with Jesse, and you're going to work with Jervin. And I'm missing on Francisco, William, and Joshua. We're going to work together. There you go, guys. Please accept the invitation and work together. Uh, it's 8.55. I will give you until 9.15 to finish. Okay? Okay. There you go. Please accept the invitation, guys. There you go. Okay, Madeline, Francisco, and Alexandra, please accept the invitation. The first situation is about that uh, my worker is, is in the room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have uh, the four scenarios. You can pick any of them. Any? Uh, yes, four? We, no, we have the four, right? Remember that we already read the four, but you don't have to work with the four. Pick one of them. Ah, okay. okay. Oh, okay. and based okay. on that, is, is, you write the suggestions. Okay, ah, okay. thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Okay. Andres, I guess, I guess uh, we make um, I think, okay, uh, the second one. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry to interrupt you, Blanky and Doris, yeah. but we have four scenarios, right? You don't yeah. have to work with the four. No. Yeah. yeah. Only one. The second one. We, okay, we cool. Choose the second one. Okay, cool. Let's continue working. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read it. I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding to my. Okay. Have you uh... selected one of them already? Ah, guys, just to give you like a heads up of clear information, you don't have to work with the four scenarios. Pick one of them. We have to only... choose one. Yes, only one. And based on that one that you selected, you write the suggestions using conditional. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, for conditions. Okay. Erwin, uh, 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 Freddie, and Kenya. Uh, there are four scenarios, but you don't have to work with the four. Pick one of them. Only one. And based on that, create your suggestions. And that's it. Okay. Okay, cool. Is it piece of wizard, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, piece of care. You see, I told you. Okay, there you go. Continue working. Peter. Yes, to... uh -huh. uh, Pick yes. only one. Pick only one scenario of the four. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, then we work on that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how for... What? You were saying? No, mm -hmm. she's gonna pick on you. <laughs> <laughs> I you thought you, we... you're about to ask me something. No. Yeah, but it's not. It's not about the work. So. Uh, I no. want to ask something. <laughs> something about what? About it... the activity. Uh, should we uh do it like the the play that we doing yesterday? If I remember well, that if. You get a job, you need to uh, improve your, and if you improve your, la, 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 you will. Yes, I just want okay. basically suggestions. Yeah, it could be more, no more than, no, only one, right? More than one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least three. Have a suggestion okay. about the same, um, well, actually the same of the, the one which you choose, right? Yes, you gotta pick one of the scenarios and based on that, give the suggestions. That's it. Okay. All righty, cool. Thank you. 
you know, thank you. Let me double check with the other guys. How's it going? Mm. What? How is it going? Uh, good. <laughs> good. Como van? Bien. Uh, we have uh, one idea. Oh, uh, you're missing uh, two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Good job. You are so happy because hey, we got an idea. And I said, uh, you're missing two. Like yeah, yeah, teacher. I know. <laughs> All right. You're doing an amazing job. Okay, guys, continue. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I will speak with him and uh, it maybe will be the same solution, right? Sorry? What is your solution suggest? Uh, I speak with him, uh, talk to him about the situation. Is uh, is the same, right? Yes, almost same. No, I don't think so. No, really, right? I just do the first one. Okay, the first one I think, uh, we have done. Let me see the second one. Okay, our second idea is still interrupting you. Before you talk to him or her. Even you sound. Mm -hmm. Wait for him Everyone. outside of work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, it should be. <laughs> no, no, because you need to resolve the problem, right? Not to get more conflict. Yes. No, more conflict, no. Jo Joshi wants to fight. Hmm. No. I'm just teasing you. Okay, continue working, yes. guys. You're doing good. Thank you. Okay. Right, thank you. Bye. On a call earlier, and we've done that before, and there, and then she's like, "We don't need some experience." And actually, it was it was hard for me. Which course on there was? What um, black um, black hawk. Um. Yeah, I can't see that. You should go to um, Atento. Imagine that I, I was actually. Working on the computer in like around four hours. Yes. Four hours. Yeah, and wow. and and then after I finish, and they they send me a message. Oh, you didn't pay. All, all <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was I was actually helping people on uh, fraudulent um um on their on their credits, but um I don't know what happened. But it was so weird because the interviews are not too hard. I think that interview was they make and they make me like around like a hundred or more psychological psychological questions and some other questions. Was maybe <laughs> maybe it will be because of the account. But I don't know. Yeah, but don't worry. You will. You will get it. Just you need to be patient because sometimes they are um antipathic or rude with you just because you don't have experience. Like the girl that interviewed me at the beginning, she was happy. She's like, um, you you just passed the exam, so you just need to make the second one. The second one's easier. I'm like, are you sure? She's like, yeah. And when the <laughs> opened the Gmail, went to the link and opened the program and started 
I'm like, oh man. Yeah, you understand the feeling. But well, there are so many more call centers that you can go. Yeah. When do you go? Hmm? When do you go? When? When that happened? What happened? Yeah. Today. Today. Wow. Yeah. In the morning. Hmm? The morning. It's, I start like around 10 o'clock in the morning and I end up like around three or four o'clock. They made me do a lot of work for nothing. Yeah. Is this the first interview that you have? Hmm? Is this the first interview that you have? At the call center? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, you are searching. Don't worry. Yeah, but the last teacher that I had finished to finish my work. In order is a uh -huh. if, I, if I feel anxious when the he I can, I can drink a tea. <laughs> if is a uh, it if I feel anxious when he showed up to monitor my work, I will I will uh I try, I will try to be relaxed. But it's not, I, I think that it's, <laughs> that not, it's not too easy, I think. Uh, to, to be more relaxed. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I, I put another, if I could find a way to be more organized with my time, I will be able to finish my work. Because sometimes when you feel that you have a lot of, of demands or I don't know how to say, uh, duties or something like that. Yeah, I could. Uh, when you feel so pressured about, about all the things that you have to finish, it's because you you don't organ you didn't organize all the all the things that you have to do mm -hmm. at the time that you can do that you can do it. So uh -huh. I think if you if you are a more organized with your time. And uh -huh. you can finish all the, all the, oh my God, I forgot the word. Oh, uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, Task. All the assignment. I don't know. Assignments. Assignment. And your task. You can use task. Yes. Task, duties, assignments. Ah, uh, task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Is the other solution? Mm -hmm. Is if my boss is demanding right. too much, uh, did you guys finish? Jesse, Fernando, Jarvin, did you finish? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet? No. No, you still have five minutes, okay? Okay, thank Any you. Any doubts, any questions? I think Fernando's also working from home right now. Uh, no, uh, well, uh, I, we, we wrote some sentences. We have four. Ooh, congratulations. I need one more if you want, if you don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty. I know. Smell like something is burning, right? 
the neurons. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Oh, four more minutes and then we come back together. Continue working. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Did you finish? Yeah. We are on it. <laughs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> no. All right. You are like a speed Gonzalez or something like that. <laughs> no. Erwin, what a face you have. What happened? Like you're like oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's you're, you're listening to these two kids, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like he's patient about. with that. If Erwin gets silent and listen oh. to Kenya and Freddy's. I am a am teacher. Okay? Yeah, I, uh, I, yes, uh -huh. like, I am. <laughs> yes, I am a teacher. He will I have listen. more call center experience. <laughs> oh, I listen. I listen uh, You're Freddy's. listening? Yeah, I am Freddy's experience. Yeah. Oh. Freddy's experience that. about his Freddy's, work application? Freddy's Vladimir for test experience. Ah, don't worry, we're yes. gonna help him. Yes, yes, with S, okay? With S. Freddy's experience. Freddy's experience, yes, because yeah. you're talking about yeah. a, a, the experience of Freddy, right? Like Freddy's uh, yeah. house, Freddy's car, etc. Yeah, that yeah. is possession, remember? Yeah, yeah, it's friends. I remember Freddy's experience. Uh huh. Exactly. It's Mr. Freddy's experience, and if you want to Vladimir's experience or Mr. Cortez's experience, ah, whatever makes it yeah. comfortable. <laughs> what do you want to call me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, how are your your bodies or your or your pals call ya or name ya? <laughs> me? Freddy? Yeah, Freddy? No. Actually, um well work at some some of them call me Freddy and some of them call me Vladdy. Vladdy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I have a friend whose name is Vladimir, but everybody calls him Vladdy. Hey, Vladdy, come here. I'm like, hey, Vladdy, yeah. what's up, man? Actually, all my neighbors they call me Vladdy because my dad has the same name as me, so they call him Freddy. Ah, uh, but also your complete name is like your father's or only your first name? My first name. Ah, okay. So just to identify both of you, your, fa yeah, your father is Freddy and so you're Vladdy. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Mm -hmm. All righty. How many suggestions did you could think about? Like around three or four. Ah, uh, okay. Why, why don't think about one more? <laughs> no, <Nah>, that's <laughs> enough. That you're, nah. Okay, so let's come back together. It's time. Yeah. There you go. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, we have get Alex, Kenya, Fernando, Freddy's, Gervin. All righty, there you go. Web, amazing people here. Amazing guys. All righty, Doris is coming. Yep, cool. Amazing girls and boys here. Hey, how was the experience? Was it good? It makes you feel, it makes you think, right? Depends on the scenario that you have chosen. Uh, basically, it was more difficult than the other one, right? Yeah, I know. It depends on the scenario and the situations. But let's double check. Let's double check uh, which are the suggestions that you are giving us, depending on the situation. Okay, let me just grab one from each team. I think Fernando is in one team. Freddie was in the other team. Yeah. Uh, Andresito was in the other team. We're three. And let me check. Uh, 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 William was in the other team. Four. And I'm missing one. I think Francisco it was in the other one. So we had the five. Okay. So tell me a number, Freddie, from one to five. A number. Five. No. Fernando from one to five. <laughs> Uh, three. Nah. Andresito from one to five. Four. Yes, that's the one. That's the lucky one. <laughs> All right. In, in front is like, ah, isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So there you go. All right. 
So I remember that um, Andresito, uh, Telma, and Madeline, right? You work together, right? Okay, tell us something, guys. Which of the four scenarios did you pick? The first the one. First, the first one? Okay, so my co-worker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry our procedures correctly, but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know, right? Okay, so which are your suggestions for this particular scenario? We have three suggestions. Yeah, I need one Andresito, one Thelma, and one Madeline. So everybody will participate. Okay, Andresito, okay. tell me the first one. The first one was... I will try to find a polite way to talk with my coworker if he interrupts me again. Very good. That's a good one. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Second option, tell me. Second, please. Well, uh, if uh, if you be a, if you get a keep account and uh, wait for my coworker explain what is what is the problem mm -hmm. and next and next continue my my expose ah, and then you you will continue expose okay yeah that's cool very good and the third option madeline what you have for us i will ask for an advice if my coworker has the same behavior all right very good excellent that's a good one good job guys Good job with that conditional sentence. All righty. So now, uh, Fernando, Freddy, I think it was uh, uh, Francisco, right? And I'm missing, and William. All right. Please, Fernando, give me a number from one to four. Oh. Now, Freddy? What? Mm -hmm. Yes, lucky one. <laughs> All righty, very good. So I think you work uh, with Erwin and with Kenya, right? Yes. All righty, there you go. So which of the four scenarios did you pick? Number four. Number four, okay. I work at the sales department. I made some mistakes in the report and the department missed a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. Okay, cool. So how many, uh, you said, if I understood you correctly, you came up with four suggestions, right? Around three or four. Around yes. three or four. Okay. Can I have the first one, Freddy? Okay, the first one. Mm -hmm. If I made a, if I made a mistake in a report and the department missed a good opportunity, the boss will get mad at me and I I might get fired. Okay. Oops. That's a suggestion. And uh, yeah, that's a possible situation. You're right about that. Will be the second one, Erwin. Sorry, Richard. For me, is you have a <clears throat> in the sales, sales staff, okay? Uh -huh. You have to, to get the sales quota with the team. Mm -hmm. You if the one of the sales man or sales woman not get the quota, all the team will not get the quota. Uh -huh. This is a good this is a good problem. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what would be quota, with uh -huh. the good quota, you will get more money. Uh, exactly. If you yeah. get a good code, you will get more money. Yep, you're right about that. Okay. Excellent. And Kenya, any other suggestion? Yeah. If you put more attention on your job, you will be have a better relationship with your coworker. Yeah, that's an excellent one. Very good. And last but not least, Freddy. One and the other one. Yeah, you said that it's between three or four. You said. <laughs> Uh, let me remember that. <laughs> let me remember that. So you lying. No, we did. Uh -huh. but, uh, we, were, we were making up with Kenya. Ah, you were, you were making up when I said come back. Not before that. Ah, okay. So you and see. We started you... talking about some other things. So uh -huh. that's why. <laughs> I gotcha, guys. I gotcha. Uh huh. All right. I, I, I will give you time, okay, to think about it. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, William, now you came back. There you go, sir. All right. I think we'll let you work with Joshi, right? Yes. And who else? Jarvis, right? Oh, Francisco. Okay. 
So yeah. for the four scenarios, which one did you pick? The first one. The first one. All righty. Okay, the same one as Telmita and Andresito. Okay, and Madeline. So tell us, which will be your suggestions for that kind of situation? How many suggestions do you came up? Three, four, five, four, three. 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 Okay. Okay, so give me one, then Joshua will give me another one, and finally Francisco will give me the last one. Go ahead, William. Mm, okay, if um, if even talking with him, for example, or her, mm -hmm. he is always interrupting you. Uh, mm -hmm. You will let him know he has to respect your job. Mm, that's a good one. Very good. What about if another suggestion, Joshi? Mm, I suggest if you co-worker interrupt you, you can try to talk to him or her in private and explain that it's your task to explain the procedure to the other co-workers. That's a good one. Very good. Excellent. And last but not least, Francisco. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, William and Yoshi, we select, for example, if you have any suggestion, Please let me know on the end. If you if you have any suggestion, please. Uh -huh. Be because sometimes uh, some we'll person ask maybe to let me know. Uh -huh. Yes. Or maybe give some opinion or idea during the explain. The explanation. The explanation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Very good. That's a good one as well. Okay. Yes, you can have an idea, but don't. Give me the suggestion what I'm just reporting the information, right? You can give it to me mm -hmm. later on. Okay, that's a good one. Very good. Excellent. Okay, thank you so much. Fernando, what about you? Who do you work with? Uh, with uh, Jarvin. With Jarvin and I think um, Jessica, Jessica, right? Jessica, yes. Well, what happened with Jessica? She left? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, don't worry. So tell me, what? how many suggestions did you come up? Uh, we write four sentences. Four sentences, that's good. Give it to me one of them, please. Uh, for example, we chose the, the first case. You choose the first case. Yes. Uh, okay. For example, if you, well, T is always interrupted. So if you get angry, you you want uh, concentrate in the procedure. So you can, you should wait to end of the, of the of the meeting or of the, the explain, explanation, and you 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 should uh, speak with with uh, with Tim along, and mm -hmm. you have to to let him know that 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 is the he was doing was wrong. Okay, very good. That's the first one. What about the second one, Jarvin? Okay, Jarvin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The uh, second one is, he will stop to interrupt me if I show him the importance of the information I am sharing. Very good. That's a good one. So she's, I don't know where is Jesse. Jesse's not here. Uh, maybe she has a problem with the internet. Can you give me uh, the third one, Fernando? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, if I screen him in that moment, I will lose my job. So we, we, should, we should calm down and try to, to follow up the, the explanation. Uh -huh. Take a deep breath, right? Yes. Move on. Very good. Thank you. And the last but not least, Jarvin? Okay. The last one is if I don't tell him anything, he won't know that he has a bad attitude. Very good. That's a good one. Excellent. Supervisor and knowledge have spoken. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good job. And last but not least, Doris and Blanquita, right? Dori and Blanquita. Uh, All right. Okay, so which one did you pick? Which scenario? The second one. The second one. Okay, let me go back and share the screen I'm going with to them. Read it. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a rude way. And I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows up to monitor my work. Very good. So which are the suggestions you have for that situation? 
put him. No, it's not. It's, it's a lie. No. <laughs> Uh-huh. What is the first uh, suggestion? The first is I'm going to tell to my boss that if he talked to me in a rude way, I won't be able to finish my work because of the pressure. Uh-huh. If he talks to me, talks to me. Talks to me. Yeah. Remember, yeah. third person. Yes. Very good. Excellent job. What about a second option or suggestion, Doris? And I'm going to tell my boss that. If he told me, it's the same. I, it's the same, Doris. You have to read. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Don't worry. That's okay, honey. If I could find a way, a way to be more organized with my time, I will be able to finish my work. Very good. If I hmm. if have, if I find more time to be organized, organized, organized. Very good. Thank you. And the last one, Blanky. If my boss is demanding too much, I will talk with him and ask for a reduce of my duties. <gasps> my duties, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. We have, a, we have an optional. An optional? Okay, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> if I am if I do stress, I will drink a tea. I a will drink a tea. I will drink a tea to relax. To relax. Okay. Yeah, nerve. Relax nerves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know what? That's a good one. That's a good one. And that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially chamomile tea. You can ask William. William loves to drink tea, right? Cup of tea. Like a British way, right? Cup of tea. Instead of coffee, they drink cup of tea. But you know what? There is a black cup, the black tea. It's a black tea with milk. Mm -hmm. And like Salvadorians between three and four, we must drink a cup of coffee with a semita that helped me to survive, right? Ayúdame a vivir, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, they, they also had like restricted one between three and four, the tea. But you know what? It's a mandatory, but they do have a different kind of dessert, like from sweet ones to salty ones, like a sandwich. Oh, it's really, good. it's really delicious. I'm angry and already have my dinner. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, guys. So tell me, how was this exercise? You see that we put in practice what we have seen so far about the conditional. Yeah, sometimes people say eh, grammar, like, eh. but no, grammar is really important. Not only does for us to express ourselves, but as well will help us to communicate even in a work environment. So you see how grammar is really practical in our daily basis. We got to see how we can use it, how useful it is. All righty. Do you have any doubts about what we have seen so far? No? Okay, uh, Fernando, you were saying? No, no, no. Any, any, any suggestions, any doubts about uh, uh, that we have seen? No, we're good? Yeah? Okay, cool. All righty, there you go. Okay, so congratulations, guys. You have done a tremendous job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, um, I'm going to give it to you guys, basically. Uh, uh, um, We'll continue right now. We're going to like practice a specific dialogue. We're going to do a role play because that is going to help us guys to basically, it's like a bridge or a jump in for tomorrow's uh, basically topic. But this is really important to like, you get used to it about this topic that we're going to see. We're just still guys uh, seeing conditionals, but you know what? Tomorrow we're going to learn third conditional which is totally different from the first one, but it's really useful and it's really easy. You don't have to complicate your life. So, but now let's, let's, let's practice a role play. And basically this one guys is amazing because this is uh, this kind of conversation that we're about to read and we're going to practice together. This talks about Edward that is a manager and is a manager for the quality department. And the enterprise is an email customers support agency. Basically, 
um, he has uh, the result of the quality and he is, has an employee who got a bad score or QA from quality department. So basically he has an interview with this employee who got a bad score and he is discussing basically the information that he received from the quality agents. So um, why he got low this, uh, the low score. So basically guys, I just want your help. Uh, 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 I just want your help reading, just reading. And then we're going to play the role plays. But I want your help because we're practicing right now the pronunciation as well. So let me share right now my screen. There you go. Can you see it or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Is it clear? Or would you like me to make it bigger? Oh, sorry, bigger. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, what about now? So much better? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. All righty. So you see? All right. I think Jarvin already passed with this situation. Okay. Do I just need two volunteers and would it be two guys? So let me use Jarvin. Jarvin, you're going to uh, play the role for Edward. And Mike, you're going to... Freddie, where are you? He left. No. So William. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Willen, you're gonna be Mike. Ready, guys? Okay. okay. Go ahead. You start, Darby. Okay. Let me retrieve your your field. Retrieve. This is your 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 field. Mm -hmm. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, I seen your quality score take. Water is very low. Let's look uh, carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I, I will be revised the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure out how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they have listened to my questions, I will have know how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation, preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been um, on date of recent procedures. Have you been reading the news manuals? Uh, um, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. <laughs> <laughs> then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you to with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you guys for helping me reading. Uh, so tell me, based on what your classmate have read, what is the situation about? What happened? The agent has a lower score in quality. Aha. Uh -huh. And Edward is uh, is talking to that to the Mike in this case, right? So when Edward requests about what could have happened, what was one of the reasons? Mike said that he got a low score. What happened? Mm -hmm. he, mean, he mentioned it's the manager's fault. It's the manager's fault. What else? Only manager's fault? Or he also said that no, somebody said else. The team, the team didn't listen to the, to the team listening didn't listen to the equation mm -hmm. they were unhelpful right yeah. mm -hmm. but yes, it does, does it mean that mike is a completely disaster as employee or he has a good points a positive areas that he's doing fine or no which is the area or the area that he's doing fine because what he's doing wrong is quality right he got a bad score but that means that everything that Mike does 
is incorrect or no? That's a tricky question. The age of T is good. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So I think I remember that Elwer asked about the manuals, right? The updated manuals, because their job requires to read a lot. So may I ask you, uh, did Mike read the recent manuals? No. No, why not? Uh, he think they are boring. Yeah, because they say they are bored. So, and, and the other one's laughing, right? Okay, so what did Edward uh, do in order to provide Mike's the information that he needs to do his job correctly? What did he, what did he have done at the end? Uh-huh. Reading comprehension, remember? It's going to send an interactive manual, right? Aha. Uh -huh. And we need like, yes. <laughs> All righty. So let's go back right now with the dialogue once again. And I want you guys to improve some pronunciation, okay? Uh, let me change right now to a different color. Okay, repeat after me. Retrieve. I, I cannot listen to you. Retrieve. Achieve. Very good. All right. Fifth month. Fifth month. No. Fifth month. Fifth month. Fifth month. Very good. It seems. It seems. Find out. Find out. Find out. Find out. Find out. Find out your areas of Find opportunity. Out. It's my manager's fault. It's, it's my, my manager's fault. fault. Very good. Um, reviewing. 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 Provide. 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 Handle. Handle. Angel. Mm -hmm. Figure. Can you repeat yeah. handle? Handle. Handle. Under. No. Candle. No, no. Candle is candela, right? This is handle. Instead of handle. H is with J. Handle. 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 Yes. Handle. handle. Exactly. Figure. 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 I'm helpful. I'm helpful. I'm helpful. I'm helpful. Um, if they had listened, they, if they had listened, they have listened. Requires. 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 Recent procedures. Recent, Recent procedures. procedures. New manuals. New manuals. New manuals. Mm -hmm. Let me double check. Uh, 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 uh. Through. 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 Interactive. 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 Very good. Okay, I just want you to practice the pronunciation because, guys, when we have a TH together, I am going to put it right now. When we have a TH together in a world, Normally, the pronunciation is like F is in Frank. No, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, um, no, is TH together is not F as in Frank. TH is like Z as in zebra, and PH is like F as in Frank. All right. So, yes. mm -hmm. so do me a favor. Remember that there is a ordinal number there. At the beginning of the um, dialogue, it says fifth month, right? Fifth month. Remember that this is an ordinal number that is, ends with TH. So if you need to pronounce it like if. Remember that La FIFA, the one that is supposed to be in the World Cup, right? FIFA. Guys, everybody, please pronounce FIFA. 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 
FIFA. FIFA. Okay, FIFA. when you pronounce FIFA, FIFA, do you feel that there is an air that is coming out of your mouth? FIFA? FIFA. FIFA? FIFA. All righty. So it's exactly the same feeling that you need to, to, to express when you're talking about the number five, but as an ordinal one. Fifth, you see? Fifth. Fifth. When you Fifth. pronounce it, this part of the upper group of your teeth needs to touch the lower lip. Fifth. Fifth, right? Fifth. Okay? Very good. So I want you guys to try to pronounce it like that way. Thanks God that I'm not in front of you. If not, I will be like Silvestre, right? Using an umbrella. <laughs> All righty, very good. Uh, <laughs> okay, I need another victim. Sorry, another volunteers, if you don't mind. One more time. All right, let's see who else. Don't worry, William. I'm not going to ask you anymore. Don't worry about that. Uh, let me check. Yeah. Freddie, you want to be um, Mike? And Erwin, do you want to be er Edward? Erwin Edward. That's good. <laughs> Uh-huh, Erwin, Erwin. Yes, teacher. So. I, I want you to play the role of Edward, and Freddie, I want you to play the role of Mike. Okay. okay. Because, okay. because you look more like a manager, Edward. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Nah, nah, just kidding. Nah, nah, nah. All righty, there you go. Okay, so you start, please. Go ahead. Erwin. I am Edward, okay? Yes, you are Edward. <clears throat> Let me retract to June 5. This is the fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is? Well, it's in the quality score. This pointer is very low. Let's look it very careful and find out the areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If it had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. You can both kind are excellent. I mean, you guys and are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you high quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer that customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and lot of reading. You will got a high score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Updated on recent process procedures. Recent procedures, yes. Have you been giving a review manuals? Or I'm no sir. I haven't. They are boring. Mm -hmm. okay. Then let's finish checking your evaluation, and then I will get. I, I can talk to you. I will get uh, with the training department, so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. <laughs> Don't worry. Very good. You know what? I like it because Erwin, you are. Well, I don't know about the rest, but I feel like if you're exactly, you were giving the advice to Freddy's. Like if you were the, the quality department and Freddy, his tone of voice, it was really nice because he always, he always makes excuses, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so he was like, it's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I will have better score, right? So you see? always like no i didn't do anything wrong it was not completely my fault okay so it was very good guys very good i, I like the ton of boys very so, good yes it exactly feels like if if freddy was like eh. yeah right like the daddy was giving you some advice very yeah. good excellent good job guys take a look uh that there are some sentences here that they are bold do you know why? They're the answer to the questions. <laughs> Not only because of that. 
is because, guys, these three sentences that we do have here, that is, a, an ex, or they are an example of a third conditional, which is exactly what we're going to do or get deeply tomorrow. But I just want you guys to just highlight it, this and take a look and try to start with analyzing the structure of the sentence, even though some of them starts like if, for example, uh, other ones they, they do start with the, uh, with the conclusion or the, or the situation about what's, what could cause the first thing. But so in, the, in the third condition, instead of using will, you use would. Uh, this is one of them, but it's more than that. Mm -hmm. Take a look at also the first part of F. What is exactly the verb tense that we use in the third conditional? And what does it mean? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna left you like that way because tomorrow we're going to get into deep on that, okay? Now, and you know what? It will be easy. The third conditional is easy. It's also what Freddie said that you will use would. Yes, you use would in the, in the second part, but in the if part, you use another verb tense that is no present anymore. So in this third conditional, guys, it's a must. It's a must and it's a must that you remember the regular and the irregular verbs. It's the most. And I'm a really good teacher and I remember that yesterday I sent you some links, right? So I expect yeah. that you watch them. Okay, because all of them are related to the pronunciation and the categorization of the regular births, which is basically we have three categories, all of them rewritten in ED, but not all of them you pronounce it in the same way. One is a D section, there's a T, and then it's an ID. So please, if you have a no watch them, watch them. Yeah, I'm going to watch them. Uh-huh. Because and you know why why I think that you did not watch them? Because as today's pronunciation, most of you mispronounced that regular verbs. Uh huh. I'm a tough teacher with grammar because I want you to pronounce correctly. Yeah. Right? So it is really, really important. Maybe the first time you exaggerate, which is really fine, but then when you're used to it and you practice that, everything will come up natural way. Okay? So, guys, may I ask you, uh, because remember, that the irregular verbs, uh, they change it, right? From past to past participle. And we do have a lot of them. But would you like me to share with you later on, like a list? A list with the most common ones? So it will be like, um, like a friendly reminder, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, I will send it to you later on. Uh, and I hope you practice it, okay? because it's, it's really important for tomorrow's activity, okay? Alrighty, guys, so based on what you have read or what we have already practiced, let me formulate some questions. I will need your help. Definitely, I will. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, would you like me to share the dialogue with you guys? Would you like me to share with you? Okay, I will. Excuse me, my IT department. I almost done. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. It's because I was expecting teacher. We haven't received it. What about now? Did you receive it? Yep. It's done Sunday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, it has not been delayed. Come on. Shame on you. All righty. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me share right now my screen with you. Everybody, you, you should have already the dialogue through the WhatsApp. Do you have it with you? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you, you need to take a look at the conversation and then please guys do it individually. 
I'm going to share right now with, with you as well um, these sentences. And I'll, all that I want you to do is basically uh, fill it in, okay, by yourself. All right, there's only three sentences. So please, guys, I already sent it to you to the WhatsApp. Please look at the dialogue and then write the missing information. I will give you two minutes and then we'll come back together, okay? This is an individual activity. Any questions, I will be here. Two minutes. Okay. One more minute. Finish? Yeah, right? Okay, it was easy peasy quizy. So let's go back. Okay. If he more health food, I better score. What would be there? Uh, Delmita, give me number one. If he gets uh, more helpful. Mm -hmm. I don't complete. Don't worry, that's okay. No. Uh, who can help uh, Telmita? What about you, Yoshi? What you have? If he had, if he had been Blanky. more. Ah, he has helpful. been more. Uh -huh. Continue, Blanquita. If he had more helpful, I will have, have had a better score. Okay, very good. Is that what you have, guys? Yeah. yeah? Cool. Well, then, what about number two? What do you have? If they have listened to my questions, I will have known how to answer the customer's issues. Very good. Excellent. The last one, number three, Jervin. Jarvin, Jarvin, hello. I think Jarvin stood up and went for a cup of coffee. What about you, Andres? What do you have for number three? Uh, I have, you would have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. On recent procedures? Recent procedures. Very yes. good, very good. So you see, as Mr. Freddy said, those are the answer of the questions. <laughs> He was exactly right. Very good. We still have five minutes. So I know some of you are sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to speak. I don't, I'm not talking about as somebody in a specific. Don't worry about that, okay? Mm -mm. No. Okay. So would you like to play it? Let's play it again, right? Let's play some game. Let's stretch out a little bit. Yeah. You have been a really nice students. So you deserve some relaxed time. There you go. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, um. Okay, I remember that yesterday we uh, we uh, played a broken telephone. Do you like it, right? It was really nice. <laughs> but it's a challenging. Okay, uh, would you like to play one more time? Yeah? Okay, that's cool. 
Okay, so you know already the rules to follow, okay? But since we cannot get everybody here, and I'm going to ask some of you. Joshi, I want you to play. Jessica, I want okay. you to play. Blanky, I want you to play. Francisco as well. I don't know. I don't know how to play. Ah, don't worry. So don't, 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 don't play today. You will see how it is. Uh, Francisco, and let me check. Freddy? William? And Fernando. Okay. So we're going to go in the opposite way. I will send the message to Fernando. Fernando will send the message to William. William will send the message to Freddie. Freddie will send the message to Andres. Andres will send the message to Francisco. And Francisco will send the message to Joshi. And Joshi will be the lucky one who will, pro who will provide us the, the message, right? Okay, so repeat it. Teacher, include me. Yes, Black. Teacher, include me. Nah, <laughs> no, you said you, can, you don't know how to play. Huh? <laughs> no, no, yes, I will include you. Okay, so uh, Joshi, you will receive the message and you will send the final message to Blanky, okay? So Blanky will be the, the okay. lucky one, the lucky one. Okay, so repeat it. Teacher, Me, teacher. Fernando. I need address numbers. Ah, you need address numbers? Yeah, I think it's here. Right, Andresito? Well, can I yes. address? Uh, Giovanni, I press. Giovanni? Giovanni yeah. Ah, is the one that ends in yeah. 9526? Yes. Uh, uh-huh. Doesn't have a picture, that's what. Yes, so I'm going to send to Fernando. Fernando will send it to William. William will send it to Freddy's. Freddy's is with Andres, right? Andres will send it to Francisco. Francisco will send it to Joshi, and Joshi will send it to Blanky, right? That's the way it is. Okay. Okay, let me search right now for Mr. Fernando. He's the one that says Cosme, right? Yes, like it is. yes, okay. Okay, please turn it off your uh, microphone, okay? Because we're going to send a message. Are you ready to raise it? I sent the message, the message. To William. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, William, listen to it. Erase it, please. <laughs> Okay, William, it's time for you to send it to Freddy's. Hurry up. Did you receive it, Freddy's already? William, come on. Is 
Is William there? Maybe he's sleeping. <laughs> Maybe he's sleeping, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Fernando, do me a favor. Try to send the message to Freddy's. Uh, William confirmed me that she received it. He the received the, the message. Okay, so hopefully he sent it. William, send it to Freddy, come on. I send. You send, okay, Freddy. Then it's going to be to Andresito. Andresito to Francisco, Francisco to Yoshi, Yoshi to Blanquita. I want to see if you got a regional mess. <laughs> oh my God, that would be amazing. Okay, cool. Andresito, sign for Andresito. Erase it, okay? Erase it. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> So Andresito is sending to Francisco. Did you send that Andresito already? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Frank? Yes, I tried. Okay, Hello. cool. All righty, send it to Yoshi. And then once Yoshi receive it, send it to Blanquita. Okay. Do you already send it to Blanquita, uh, Yoshi? I have received already just the message. From okay, Francisco. cool. Okay, cool. In, in Blanqui, when you receive it, you have to let us know what is the message, okay? Okay. <laughs> By the way, before before I forget, uh, today I'm gonna stay the one-on-one -on -one session with Kenya. Okay, so I want you Kenya to stay for a little bit if you don't mind. Finish. Did you send it, Joshi? Yes. All right, cool. All righty. So now, Blanquita, I want you to let us know what is the message about or which message did you get? <laughs> okay. What was the message? <laughs> the teacher said, put attention. The teacher said, Blanca, put attention in class. <laughs> you know what? I know who was a broken telephone yesterday because you know what? It was close it was almost almost the original one i just had to say please put more attention in class but oh, i did, i did not say put i said pay pay attention <laughs> very good good job there was no brockton telephone this time <laughs> isn't it amazing that's amazing i like it very good guys Thank you so much for enjoying today's class and also for participating in this activity. That's amazing. So hopefully Fernando don't feel, don't read, don't go to sleep. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Um, okay, it's time to go. We're gonna see you tomorrow. I'm just gonna stay with Kenya, okay? Hacks and kisses. Have a lovely night and take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, girl. How are you, sweetie? Pretty good? I cannot hear you. Oh, sorry. All right, there you go. Much better. No, that's okay. Don't worry. How's your day going? How you feel today? Uh, it was amazing. Yeah, I went to the hospital. I don't know. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah. I love it. I love the weather. I love the view, the passages, everything. It's amazing. Yeah, anyway, with this weather, uh, 
Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yes, <laughs> so of course. Cool. And I always drink a cup of coffee. I, that place, I think I I drink around four or five cups of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. of the weather, it's really cold. Uh, but I love it. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. so you've been there today? Yep. <gasps> My goodness, but it was a really tired and fast trip. I know. Wow. I arrived here at 8 p.m. almost at the beginning of the class. Oh my God. So you were like, <laughs> you're just, just arriving. So just one foot outside and one foot inside, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. But did you enjoy that? Yeah. Um, that was the most important. That you spend a good time with friends, with family. You like take a little break, right, for the daily routine, and then yeah, you come yeah, back yeah. fresh. That's amazing. <laughs> There you go. That's nice. Tell me how you feel right now during the class. How you feel about the topics that we have seen so far? I feel good actually. I I think that I'm learning too much more things that I didn't know. It. Ooh, that's a good one. Especially related to your to the work environment? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the management styles and with the third condition that we are going to see tomorrow. Oh, yes. That's really interesting. And you know what? You don't have to complicate. It's easy. It's really easy. As long as you know, for example, that we're going to use auxiliary have, as you have seen. And also we have a use the pass of have, which is had, right? But if you just remember the regular verbs and the irregular verbs, you're just fine. You're just fine. Don't worry about that. I will, I will try to send it right today so you can have it for tomorrow. Okay. I just want to know if you have any doubts about a specific topic that we have seen so far. No, but I have a doubt about the homework. Uh -huh, the what's platform. the homework? Ah, okay, cool. Yes, yeah. tell me. Uh, we have a part with in every uh, step uh, it says something like discussion discussion uh, box uh-huh we need to fill out that or no yeah you if you want you can do it yes but it's not it is not necessary no 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 oh, okay i was i was wondering what that yeah what i what i want if it's possible to just uh, continue working on the platform because i know that you it's not for some of you are really tough for the schedule for the time etc yeah. but right now with all what we have seen you are able to complete all the activities for unit one and all the activities for unit two okay mm -hmm. yes next week you will be able to uh, to finish not unit three and the last week unit four basically mm -hmm. but you can do it so i i want that i know maybe uh, you will have more time better better your day off or on weekends but i want you to to uh, move on and to do the exercises at the platform because it's really really important mm -hmm. and if you well, have any well, doubts for the exercise you can just feel free to send it the message i will be more than glad to help you okay when is going to be the last day to to do the platform well with respect we finish i think we finished by april 4 we finish that so that means that Uh, but April first, you're supposed to have all, everything done. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, but don't worry until the last minute. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I'm doing it every week. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good to know. Do you have any feedback for me? No, I really like the way you are teaching us. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I have to admit it. <laughs> well, I'm so happy. I'm trying to do my best. Would you like me to slow down a little bit? to speak a little bit slow, faster? No, and the way that you are doing it, okay. Oof, oof. Hopefully you understand, I'm so happy. I was really scared like uh -huh. they're not gonna understand me. Yes, <laughs> but I'm trying to slow down a little bit. Okay, I'm so happy and thank you so much for the feedback, okay? Any doubts, any questions, feel free to send it to me. Uh, sometimes I'm not going to answer just right immediately, but as soon as I can't, I will answer whatever questions you have or doubts that you have, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night and take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye.